Hey, it's Tyler from Activeed, and even though many of you can probably guess the outcome of this next matchup, we're letting whole wheat and white bread go head to head. So, place your bets if you think it's a sure thing, and let's see which loaf comes out on top. Round 1. The making of white versus whole wheat breads. The major difference in white bread versus whole wheat breads is in how they're made. For instance, wheat breads are made from whole wheat flour, while white breads remove the bran and wheat germ from wheat flour and bleach it to make white loaves. White bread also contains added chemicals for the bleaching process, namely chlorine dioxide gas, potassium bromate, and benzoyl peroxide. Now, if it's a taste preference, which it is for many, you can still get your nutrition by buying a white, whole wheat bread loaf, which is made with lighter wheat for added nutrients, but still sort of tastes like white bread. So we know who's the winner of round one. <laughs> round two, nutrient content. Obviously, whole wheat bread has a nutritional advantage over stripped and bleached white loaves. Research from the American Academy of Pediatrics points out that brown bread is richer in zinc, folic acid, magnesium, vitamins E and B6, and also fiber. Now, white breads, on the other hand, are typically fortified with added fiber and nutrients, like calcium, for example. Now, the added bleaching agents in white breads, remember the benzoyl peroxide, potassium bromate, and chlorine dioxide, even though they're used in relatively low doses, they've largely been criticized. However, the US Food and Drug Administration and the Canadian Food and Drug Act still permit the addition of these chemicals in acceptable levels. Now, keep in mind that European countries like Germany have prohibited them since the late 1950s. Whole wheat breads are not always what they seem though. They often include caramel coloring and enriched flours. I don't know about you, but I prefer to know exactly what I'm eating, and that means buying breads with minimal additives and the fewest number of ingredients listed to ensure that I'm buying the healthiest option. We could cut it off right there, but let's move on to round three. Whole grains versus plain old grains. Overall, any type of whole grain bread provides the most nutrients per loaf because it's less refined and retains the nutrient-rich wheat germ and wheat bran. Sure, you may notice that a slice of whole wheat or whole grain bread is higher in fat content compared to white bread, but it's also much higher in fiber. In the end, whole grain comes out the winner for a lot of reasons. But don't just take my word for it. The American Journal of Clinical Nutrition claims that those who opt for whole wheat versus white bread have a lower risk of type 2 diabetes, high cholesterol, heart disease, and also tend to have lower body weights. So that's a pretty easy one. Whole wheat bread comes out on top. Thanks for watching this matchup, folks, and be sure to add your thoughts in the comments and let us know who you cheered for. Thanks for watching. Until next time.